How's it going you guys? Uh, me and my son are out here on the lake in Big Bear. Um, I don't know if you could really tell. Out there we have ice. The lake's, a big portion of the lake right now is frozen over. And uh, so when we're trying to figure out spots, it makes it kind of hard. You know, you got to drive around the shore and kind of see what's thawed out, what's frozen, where you, what you can get to and what you can't. Um, me and my son are fishing right now. We got four poles in the water. You see right here. We got a pole right here and a pole right here right next to some ice. Um, since I've been, I posted the last video, I have been out here numerous times. Um, just about every, every day, if not every other day for at least an hour to two hours. Um, trying to get some video for you guys catching trout up here, but the uh, trout's been kind of tough recently. Um, haven't had any luck, but we are out here giving it a shot. And, uh, the reason why I'm making a video today is one of the, somebody had made a comment on, on my last first video about a slip bobber setup and leader length and, and, uh, what kind of, uh, fish attractant I use, um, so I'm gonna give the camera to my son. That's my son, Junior. He's the camera guy. So real quick, um, about the attractants. About the attractants, I have three in my tackle box. Um, this one obviously is empty. That's my go-to one. The Berkeley Power Bait trout dip um, runs about six bucks it's not too bad it's a real th uh, gnarly garlic scent and uh, that's my go-to one obviously it's pretty empty but uh, I also carry this stuff it's also Berkeley power bait trout attractant says it holds on longer I don't know and that stuff use, runs about five to six bucks too depending on where you get it from and then I also recently just picked up this stuff Atlas Mike's Lunker Lotion garlic scent also they have crayfish scent too but I usually stick with the stick with the garlic stuff for the trout so that's what I carry in my tackle box. Um, and with the slip bobber, um, right now is a windy day. I don't like using slip bobbers on windy days. Um, I like fishing slip bobbers at the dam mostly. And right now being winter time, uh, they say the trout's mostly on the east side of the lake, anywhere on the east side of the lake. And, and the dam is down on the west side of the lake so I usually stay away from there during the winter time. I usually try to hit there to spring, summertime, and then I'll use a slip bobber. Um, so it's real easy. I always buy these uh, pre-made slip bobber knots. You actually slide the tube onto your line and pull the tube off and it's, you just uh, cinch these two ends down on your line, pull them tight and then cut off the excess on that string. And uh, I use this uh, slip bobber, you know, and uh, the question was about the, the lengths on the, on the slip bobber setup. And the cool thing about the slip bobber is what I like, is this knot uh, gets tight on the line, but it's completely adjustable. Like you could grab the knot and slide it up and down on your, uh, on your line to adjust, adjust the depth of where your bait is sitting in the water. Um, springtime uh, and summer, 
usually like to hit around 12, anywhere from 12 to like 16 feet max. And you'll, you'll get pretty good results from that down at the dam right now. But like I say, we're in shallow waters. The, the weeds are kind of gnarly right now and the wind's kind of gnarly. It's, it's too messy to use the slip otter setup uh, this time of year. But yeah, um, hopefully that answered all your questions. Thank you guys. And uh, hopefully we can get on some fish here.